Hi, okay, we continue with the fifth lecture. Uh, Assalamualaikum and peace be upon you. Okay, uh, the last uh, types of logic is high order logic, uh, which is to overcome the weakness of a first order logic. Okay, as I said before, first order logic, we cannot actually uh, give a value uh, to some objects. For example, um, uh, we can only have uh, is either for all or some, right? So, FOL only allows to quantify over variables and variables can only range over objects. But high order logic allows to quantify over relation as well. Okay, so example of quantify, quantify over function. Uh, two function are equal if they produce the same value for all arguments. Okay, so this is if and only if. Okay, so for all f and all g, where f is equal to g. Okay, so this is similar with all x. Okay, where x, function x is equal to function gx. Okay, so rather than we have all function f and all function g, we say for all x. So, example of quantify over predicates. Okay, for all R, where R is a transitive. Okay, then all X, Y, Z, where X is R, Y, and Y is R, Z, then X is R, Z. Okay, so take some, take some time to digest this, please. Alright, so higher order logic, this is more expressive, okay, because you can quantify over relation, uh, function, and predicate as well, uh, not only variables. Okay, so it is more expressive, but however, it's not easy for us to make a decision uh, based on this. So, how do we express uh, uniqueness uh, in high order logics? Okay, so sometimes you want to say, that there is a single unique object that satisfy a certain condition. Okay, for example, there exists a unique X such that King X is true. Okay, so to express a uniqueness, okay, because there's only one King like this. Okay, so we have this exclamation mark. Okay, there exists only one X, not some, not some King. Okay, only one King. Okay. The second example, every country has exactly one ruler. So, can only be ruled by one person. Okay, one ruler. So, how do we say this? For every C, every country, where C is a country, then there exists R, where country is ruler, is only one ruler. Right? Okay. Then we also have the IOTA operator. Okay. Uh, that is I, X. Okay, IOTA X. PX means the unique X such that PX is true. Okay, the unique ruler of Fredonia is that. Okay, so just now we said there's only one and this time is the unique. The unique ruler of Fredonia is red, is that. So how do we represent this? Okay, that is the relationship. Okay, this is the unique ruler. The unique ruler of Hidonia where uh, he or she is an X is already dead. Okay. Okay, so any difference with the notational or the symbol? Okay, it's the same. Okay, the same symbol. Okay, just have an additional here. Okay, you can use bracket. Okay, you can use plus for n, okay, and etc. So in Prolog, okay, uh, Prolog is a programming language, programming language uh, for logic programming. Okay, so this is a relationship, direct uh, logic representation. Okay, x is a cat. Okay, if x is furry, and x meows, and x has claws. Alright, so this is the rules, okay, or how to define a cat. 
Okay, if you use lips. Okay, so this is how uh, we define cat in lips notation. Alright, so that, that's all for higher order logic. So, as a recap, a short recap. Okay, uh, propositional logic. Uh, of course, all logic have syntax and semantic. So, syntax for all logic is the same. Okay, and or not. Okay, if and equal. Okay, so please stick to one type of symbol. And you can also have brackets and true and false for each atoms or sentences. And semantic is how you translate the logic. Uh, how you translate those, those symbols. Okay, and you have the truth table which is used by all type of logic. Okay, predicate logic, uh, first order logic or higher order logic. Okay, and then predicate logic is to overcome the weakness in propositional logic. Okay, so they allow us to talk about object. And so, instead of representing the whole sentence like today is wet, okay, we can try to make is wet as uh, the relation and today is the object. So, this today, the object, you can replace with other object, tomorrow or yesterday. Is wet okay and also have relation John likes apples and similarly it has true and false first order logic okay uh, so the constant are symbols okay John apples uh, constant are the objects and it also have predicates functions uh, variables okay and on top of that they also introduce quantifier which is the universal quantifier that is the a the overton a and the existential that is the other side of e okay all right and then lastly we have a higher order logic which is more expressive than first order uh, if you want to remember uh, you have to remember that higher order logic you have the unique uniqueness and also uh, only one Okay, that is the exclamation mark and also the iota. Okay. So, uh, as a conclusion, logic is a good representation. Okay, but it is another language. So, you have to always, as another language like English or Malay or uh, even dialects. Okay, we have to always talk with that language. Okay, or write with that long language. Then only we are fluent. Okay, so it's fairly easy to do translation when possible. But for new uh, beginners, okay, like us, uh, maybe it's not uh, very easy. So to help us, we can use the basic uh, programming language that uses uh, logic. That is Prolog and also Lambda Prolog. Okay, so how about non-logical representation? Okay, knowledge that you get from the expert, which is uh, not in a, not anything about facts or relationship. Okay, so you can use other type that we have learned before. Uh, you can use graph or networks. Okay, we have frames, conceptional graph, OAVs, maintain networks, as well as production rules. Okay, uh, that's all. Don't forget to uh, repeat watching video lectures if you don't understand, as well as other video lecture or slide share, if that can help you to understand. And make sure you do the exercise to enforce uh, learning and understanding. Thank you.